Little Miss Meg's makeup and today I have a bronzy makeup for you guys. Um, I was debating starting to tap into our Valentine's Day makeup, but then I was like, who doesn't love a bronzy makeup? I know there's like a ton on YouTube and there you can find them anywhere, but I just love, love, love bronzy makeups. I think they are absolutely gorgeous and I think they look good on everyone. Um, I think everyone's eye color can be complimented with a bronze smoky eye. Um, even though this isn't too like smoky, but it's a bronze eye, you know, you feel me. I thought I would do something that's actually super, super easy for you guys. So, so easy. Like anyone can do this eye look. And um, I just picked up Opal, like literally like not even an hour ago. And um, I have Champagne Pop, Pearl, and the bronze one from the trio. I have the trio. Then I have another Champagne Pop. But um, my friend Sky, which you guys have heard me talk about her before, and just one day she'll be in a video with me. But um, I wanted to grab Opal, so I did, and ooh. I just want to like shower my body in this, like, and like most of the other highlighters, like, eh, you know, like these are nice, like I'll put them on my face, but like this one, like I want to bathe in this, like I am obsessed. So yeah, but I feel like it's more like a bronze natural-ish glow than like I have this like whitish color shimmer on my face that's like totally noticeable. It's more like natural, like from within. But anyways, like I absolutely love it, so I was kind of inspired by this, and I decided to use a pigment for you guys. I know a lot of people think of pigments and they're like, oh my god, a pigment, like no, pigments are the easiest thing to work with. Um, I don't want to say like easiest because they're a little messy. It's the easiest way to get away with a eye look that's super simple and look more complicated because it's normally like duo dimensional, duochrome however, metallic. So I use Tan by MAC. Um, this is my favorite like bronze pigment. So that's the one I use. Literally like a four step eye look, but um, I absolutely love it. And uh, you know the brown trends coming in with the lips? Um, the brown lip kind of trend. Well, this isn't brown, but um, it's MAC Spirit, which is like my brown. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I love bronzy makeup tutorials. I want to do more, more of an orange tone because those are actually my fave fave, but this is coming, coming close in a second. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys stay tuned and keep watching. Alright babe, starting off with my NYX to go palette and it is blurry so I'm going to get my camera to focus but I'm going to use this transition shade which is basically just a warm orangish tone brown and I'm using this on a NYX fluffy brush and this brush is super super soft so I love to just blow out my crease with this. As you can see I place it in my crease then I go in circular motions along my crease to just really blow that out as much as I can. Then I'm going to be taking this more bronze color in the palette and I'm going to be taking a little bit smaller brush. This is a angled fluffy shadow brush. So I'm just going to apply this into my crease and then use that same brush. Same technique of just swirling that in some circles and blending that all together. I really just want it to be super blown out and seamless so when we put the pigment there's no like line of demarcation. It just all flows. Then I'm taking this huge fluffy, I think it's literally called a large fluff brush from Sigma in the light color and I'm just patting this on my brow and slightly blending that in then going back to the first transition shade and that brush that we use for the bronze and applying this under my eye I just wanted the under eye to kind of blend with the crease to do like a halo effect around my eye something very soft so I just went and applied that then I'm using my MAC tan pigment which I absolutely love and I'm using the Urban Decay brush this came with the Urban Decay 2 palette and I'm swirling that in the cap so I get the pigment pressed into my brush and then just spraying that so it's wet so it becomes like this metallic -ish effect it just applies a lot better stays a lot better and the pigment looks um, more true when it's wet it looks like a liquid metal kind of thing instead of just like a powder and then it doesn't like flake off as easy because it's wet so it's like molded to your lid then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Becca opal highlighter which I'm obsessed with using that same brush I'm gonna apply this to the center of my eyelid just the center not going on either side just to give my eye a more doe-eyed effect then taking some brown gel pencil liner I'm gonna apply this on my upper lash line very thinly just a thin line across the top. I'm just trying to give my eyes some definition since I'm not going to be wearing falsies. Then I'm using this golden copper um, twist up retractable liner and I'm applying this in my waterline to add some color. I was going to do the brown to kind of close my eye up a little bit but I thought you know this is more like bronzy so why not add that metallic feel. Then I'm using my L'Oreal telescopic mascara only on the top lashes though I want to keep my eye looking open. Then I'm taking that same fluffy brush and the sleek highlight palette and applying the more golden shade and the more white a lighter shade. So I'm just layering the first two shades in my inner tear duct to open up my eyes, then applying that on my brow bone to pull in all the glow 
Then I'm going to go ahead and take the peach in that same NYX to go palette. And I'm basically going to put this on my cheeks. I'm not just focusing on the apple or just focusing more towards the back of my cheekbone. I'm really just blowing this out along my cheek. Um, I know it's not summer in California. I mean, it is in like Australia and such, but... I just really wanted those like summery bronzish vibes because I'm kind of missing it right now. But then I went ahead and took the bronzer. I'm not using this to contour. My face is already contoured. I'm just using the bronzer to bronze up my face. So I'm putting that kind of over the back side of my cheek. So covering the blush and then just applying this to my forehead to give my face warmth and just look like I've been in the sun all day. And then I'm just applying this to my nose too to pull it all together. Dabbing into my Carly Bible palette, I'm using the bronze shade and just applying this over my blush. So this is just adding that bronzy touch to the blush and still adding that glow on my actual apples of my cheeks. So when I smile, it's nice and glowy. And then I'm taking my opal highlighter, obsessed, and I'm using a fluffy brush just to apply this onto my cheekbones. So I'm just used, decided to use a smaller brush. I wanted it to be more concentrated and that way I could get the color exactly where I wanted it. So I applied this all over my cheeks, not my cheeks, my um cheekbone, that's the word I'm looking for, come on Megan, and then on the sides of my forehead, and I'm going to go down my nose, Cupid's bow, and part of my chin as well, just to kind of give this really glow and strobing effect, I love highlighting my nose, I don't care if I look like Rudolph, I love it, I think it looks good, I think it's attractive, I enjoy it, therefore, nose highlighted up, then I'm using pearl from Becca as well, and I'm applying this on the absolute highest point of my cheekbone and over the ball of my nose as well to kind of pull that forward even more. And um, Cupid's bow, we just dab in the Cupid's bow just a little. Then I'm using my Kaylin liner and I'm just applying this to my lips. I believe this is the color 03. And I'm just lining my lips. It's kind of like a brownish tone. I want to say it's more like a terracotta color. I don't even really know what color that is, but I feel like this is terracotta. So I just outlined my lips and slightly filled that in. Um, this eyeliner is pretty... This eyeliner? Hmm, that's what I'm putting on my lips because it's an eyeliner. This lip liner is pretty thick, so it's pretty opaque on the lips. Then I'm taking my MAC Spirit Lipstick Matte Formula. Absolutely love this lipstick. This is my absolute favorite, favorite lipstick. It looks so good on so many skin tones. I use this on almost all my clients. Absolutely love this shade, so I applied that over just to blend in the lip liner and just make my lips look more full. Then I'm taking opal and we're gonna do a little trick to make our looks, our lips, our looks, <laughs> our lips look even more pout and full. So we're gonna put this on our cupid's bow in the center of our bottom of our lip. And since this is a lipstick and it's matte, it's gonna mix in a little and just give us that little bit of shine. So that was it for this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, super, super simple and um, bronzy and fun and I feel like it'll go with anything you guys want to do or want to wear, what lip color you wanna pair it with, especially the brown tones going on recently. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not because new videos are coming and you don't want to miss out on those. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Go ahead and follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. Tweet me. I'll tweet back. What's good? We have a conversation. Anyways, yeah. All in all, hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you babes in my next video. Bye babes.